Hi guys, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach uh, text box. Uh, in text box two, getting the uh, this tutorial I will teach show uh, display the selected row from the data grid view to text box. Display the selected row from database to text box. So database to grid view anything in the grid view to text box. Okay. So first, this is my database. My database name test db. Uh, I have a one table. The table name is EMP. I have four columns. Column name is ID, name, age, and amount. So here I have the some data inside the table. I have two data. So two rows, two records. Anything here to tell. So first, what I do? Uh, I need to add one uh, data grid view here. So just I'm going to the toolbox and. Uh, inside a data object I have the data grid view just and track it data grid view so and expand it because of because my okay I expand it now I'm click here here enable deleting enable editing enable adding so I remove those all the things and click the add column here inside the head column column name is column one and header text is i am choosing to id right just a minute and just selecting the row sorry the server explore now i am clicking here add column here inside the head column i am typing id so column name is column one header text is id so just and click add and name and age and amount just I'm added and close it so here you will see uh, those things here uh, some empty space is there so i need to remove the empty space so i'm going to edit column and select name here auto size mode is there inside auto size mode i'm clicking to fill so depends upon the width width of the data grid view so the name only is expanded okay so here you have to see i'm just removing the name only decrease the size okay okay now i need to click the data grid view the particular data will put into text box that is the my requirement so i need to draw, draw the four text boxes here just one two three four okay so this is fourth one amount this is third one age this is second one name this is first one id okay so uh, what i am do i need to put the text uh, texas also here so just uh, you put the control button hold the uh, hold the control button and uh, track it so you will get another one and uh, once again uh, hold the control button and track it you get third one and control track it and fourth one so here what i do just i'm right click properties in text i'm just typing to id and go to properties and type to name age amount ok so ok now I have done my designing options so what I am do I will put one second one button fetch fetch this button is getting the data from uh, database so i'm just 
హెచ్ సో డబుల్ క్లిక్ ద హెచ్ బటన్ ఏర్ ఐఎమ్ ఫస్ట్ వాట్ ఐమ్ టు సో బికాస్ ఐఎమ్ వీవింగ్ పర్పస్ ఐఎమ్ జస్ట్ చేంజింగ్ టు వన్ థర్టీ ఇస్ రైట్ వన్ థర్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ సో సో యూ విల్ క్లియర్లీ గెట్ ద వ్యూస్ సో హియర్ ఐఎమ్ టైపింగ్ యూసింగ్ సిస్టమ్ డాట్ డేటా డాట్ ఎస్ క్యూఎల్ క్లైంట్ రైట్ here i need a connections so i'm writing the connection sql connection co can equal to new sql connection so con is your variable you here you have to declare anything it is not a problem so i need a connection string so i am just click that my database and right click properties so here connection string is there just control a and control c copy the connection string here just you have to paste it control v that's it so your connection string successfully getting the connection strings here i need to get the fetch the data fetch the data so i am here i am using sql data adapter sql data adapter sda equal to new sql data adapter now just i am putting the, here i am typing the my query so sql query select from emp so here linking the connection con connection so i link the connection also now what i do i need to pass the data to data table so data table dt equal to new data table so here sda dot full dt okay so now i write the query i need to now i need to pass the uh, data into data grid view so i write the data grid view query so i am using uh, for loop here for each loop for each loop so so i am giving the shortcut to using the for each so go to insert c f and here i am just i double click the c sharp special c sharp here i am just for each loop and just enter so in variable i am typing data row here anything item in collection i am d t okay so here before that i am clearing the uh, data grid view so data grid view one dot was dot clear so here i am typing data grid view one dot rows dot add so i need to pass the values to index to in can okay now data grid view one dot rows i am passing the hen here to cell zero dot value equal to item dot id this is id is you have to mention double quote here id to string or else you have to put the zero you have to put anything okay just i am copying the values control c control v control v control v yeah just i am changing the cell value only to the 2 and then last one 3 
care and changing. One, two, and three. Just control S, save it, and run those things. So I'm clicking the fetch value. So I'm getting the data here. So I'm click the uh, selected row. I'm clicking the selected row. So I will fetch the data into text box. That is my requirement here. So what I'm do? First I need to click the data grid view and go to the properties here. Inside the properties, I have to select uh, row, selected row, selection mode. And selection mode, I am changing to uh, full row select. First, I need to select the full row select. What is the difference you have to see? Full row select means so the so full row it will automatically select. So you click anything anywhere, the full row will be selected. Okay. So selected row, I need to pass the selected row values into text box so what I do uh, just I go to the just I click here uh, inside the event I click here so event I mouse click just go to cell not a mouse click where is the mouse click the M series right mouse click here mouse double click or mouse click so I need to select mouse click here so here I am writing just text box one dot text equal to just I am copying this first value control C control V to string here N option is the here I am selecting data grid view one dot select rows dot so sorry close here I'm just changing zero here inside a row I'm using dot selected row so selected rows zero zero the position and cell zero the value will be passed into text box one so likewise I am just copy those things and control V control V control V here I am changing one two and three here I am changing likewise two three and then four so control S and now I am click run the button so first time click the fetch so it will show the error because you didn't click the fetch button first you have to click the grid view it will show the error so I am click the fetch button and I am select so inside you click any empty place it will throw the error ok so what I am do so I need to some validation also I am put the validation so simple validation here data grid view one dot rows dot count greater than zero then only this query is working so now control S else I put the else statement also you need then you have to put the else I am put uh, some message box message box dot show please please click fetch so now just run the voice button and click here so please click the fetch option so once I fetch so I'm click anything so I will get the data so okay guys we will meet on next tutorial bye bye